In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Xbox controller to your PC. If you're new here to the Anthony Allen YouTube channel, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and to also give this video a thumbs up. I upload helpful Xbox tutorial videos and a lot more, which is a good reason why you should subscribe today. With that said, I'm going to show you how to connect your Xbox controller to your PC so you can do things like playing games on your PC using your Xbox controller and completing other tasks on your PC or laptop using your Xbox controller. Let's show you how this is done. Let's go. The first step is to turn on your wireless Xbox controller. The light will begin to flash. After you've done this, pick up your Xbox controller. There will be a sync button on the top of the controller. Press and hold this for a few seconds. You will see that the Xbox light, the Xbox button, will begin to flash slightly faster. This is the sync mode. This is the first step. Let's move over to the PC and show you what to do next. On your PC, go to the start menu. From here, select the settings. You'll see it is this gear icon here. From the settings menu, you want to navigate to the Bluetooth and devices in the side menu here. Select Bluetooth and devices. From here, you want to turn on your Bluetooth of your PC or laptop. I'm going to do this now. You can see that my laptop is discoverable on Bluetooth and you can see that here. I can also add a device. In a moment, I will get a notification. Here it is right here that is notifying me that my controller is ready to be connected to. And I can do this using this notification here as we're using Windows 11. You can also add via the add device button at the top. By selecting the Bluetooth menu, which reads mice, keyboards, pens, audio devices, controllers, and more. Of course, you can connect your controller. I'm going to select this now and you can see Xbox wireless controller. This is my controller that I'm now going to connect. There is also the notification, which is the shortcut for connecting, but I'm showing you this here, just in case you don't have that notification there. Selecting this, the Xbox controller is now connected to my PC. I'm going to select done, and you can also see the battery life of my controller as it's a wireless controller. As we're using an official Microsoft Xbox controller and a Microsoft Windows up-to-date operating system. You can see it in action here. I'm just moving up and down inside the menu and I'm also playing Fortnite. Just giving you an idea of how this works here. So of course, this is the first time I've logged into Fortnite on my PC for a while. I just had to update I've already got that and it's just notifying me that I have the battle pass as well as my Fortnite crew membership. I can also go through the menu here. You can see Itachi and a few emotes. It's also in 120 frames per second at the moment, by the way, or higher as I'm using PC. You can see that in action here. It's going for the menu here. When I'm searching for Naruto, you will notice that I will have to use the keyboard. Now there are some functions in games that will require you to use your keyboard, but for most functions and gameplay, you can use your controller. In Fortnite, when you're searching in the locker, for example, you have to use the keyboard to search for whatever you're searching for. In my terms, it was Naruto. Here is Hirochimaru. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and to also give this a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. You are awesome.